Okay, looks like they're ready to go. All right, we're going to get into this. So Z Dog with a follow up run today, and this is Dan M. He has a chance this for redemption after the, oh, the, yeah. the oh infamous Z choke. God, that was like a year ago. Um, still yeah, that was a year ago. Oh my god, yeah. Still one of my favorite highlights. Sorry, Zach. Highlights. Anyway, um. The hype lights. So Dan M, this is actually his second view in the bracket. He played uh, Tatsu earlier. Yeah, he played Tatsu earlier on. It was 2 1. So. Ryu Falcon, it's probably kind of an even matchup or favor of Ryu now that I think about it. I mean, Falcon's really good with grab, so it can probably, you know, something you can use against Focus, but nevertheless. Dan needs to be careful. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fraud. This is free for Falcon. What am I talking about? <laughs> well, I mean, this is still the second best Ryu, aside from War. Oh, in my yes. Opinion, so Dan M needs to keep that up. Can't get lazy. Yeah. Ryu, one of the notorious hamburglers of yeah. this game. But I will say, despite me mentioning that Dan went 2-1 against Tatsu earlier, um, he is known to actually play or have closer sets earlier in the tournament. Like, later in the tournament, he actually tends to kind of step it up. Interesting little thing. A little tidbit. Yeah. Oh, that focus punch eating the knee. And that was probably a good option for Tatsu. Faster than him. Oh, okay. Faster than an air dodge for Ryu. Because I think Ryu's air dodge is actually slower than frame 2. I think. Don't quote me. He's trying to get an... I think he's trying to edge cancel that to make it a safe movement option. Because it'll go through shield. Oh, almost finds the knee again. I mean, technically he found it, but not the strong hit. <laughs> look, sir. Look, sir. Droids. <laughs> <laughs> I found what I found. <laughs> yeah. If, you guys gonna have to start DIing out on those uh, down throws because he is getting paid quite this, often. This, this is definitely where it's a little scary for Ryu because Falcon's speed is so high. Yeah, Ryu's not known for being a very mobile character. He's got movement options, but... He kind of has to be careful when he sticks out that elbow because Falcon could just grab him or hit him. And Danny's going to the Falcon kick so much. Like, what the hell is this? Well, oh. he, he did say that he was on two months of rust, so he's probably going to be kind of winging it a little bit. So he's kind of ad-libbing those moves. Yeah. Yay! Yay. Right idea. Z-Dog had the right idea. Good idea, bad execution. Yeah. If anything, he could probably actually did a turnaround up tilt to check it, and then convert off that, but... Mm -hmm. Oh well. Or even turn on down tilt. So, pretty convincing game one for Dan. Convincing. We'll see if he can keep it up, though. I mean, Z-Dog's no slouch. He... He's quite the veteran he, he, player he, he, at this point. He adapts pretty well. Charles, yeah. Oh, Charles to wing it. Hey, wing it. Yeah, he's yeah, he has definitely got quite a bit of experience under his belt at this point in his Smash career. So. Yep. Three, two, one, go! Yeah. We're taking the FD. Um, I can't tell you, I, I don't know if Ryu's really like or hate FD. I think they don't really care, but I think it just... There's less platforms, I guess, to obstruct with their potential combos and such. Oh, that's a punish. <laughs> yeah, okay, been, he, was, been a better punish. he was probably trying to set up with the F tilt. Because it looks like he wanted to sort of off oh, But again! Oh my god. He got, look at his face! He's just, he's not DIing. He's not DIing those in time. And D Dog. Is, I've seen him kind of break down before when he just kind of, you know, gets tossed around a little bit. Hope that doesn't happen here. Ryu is such a volatile character. He can't bring this back, but he's just going to have to play well. I'm sure the damage that he takes from Falcon's stuff isn't going to actually be all too detrimental because he's Ryu, but he's got to stay in the game mentally, at the very least. Nice. Good weight. Gets the punish on the roll. Excellent stuff by, uh, by Z-Dog. <laughs> That's a good way to keep your composure too and calm down. And just get that stock back with minimal, uh, minimal, I guess, damage. Oh uh, god, that nair. But the back air gonna punish that Tatsu. That's honestly all he needs, though, just to be on a one stock situation. Yeah. For you. Exactly. It's all bad fair. <laughs> yeah, I gotta toss him off. Very high on power shield. Not gonna, uh, not gonna edge guard that. Ryu can't has the luxury going low, but that's smart. Oh, that back air, I don't think was at all what Dan wanted. <laughs> Still kind of a scramble situation. No, nobody's really in control. Yeah. Dan is not in. Oh! Oh! oh. Is he? No! Oh, oh, I got the rolls! That could have been so much more devastating. The lasagna rolls. 
Oh, bad F punish smash. by Dan. He could, he could have killed him there. Yeah, F smash because even if it hits him backwards, he dies. I think, he could have, I think up smash might have did it. That too. Oh, no. What do you... That oh, was not a good option. Why did he kill him? What? Oh, he screwed up. He screwed up. He was shaking his head. He was shaking his head. Oh Trying to get that Nair God. edge guard, forcing Dan to tech, but... Oh! There it is. There it is. Okay, okay that was okay. good. So Dan, oh, Dan Z, scrambling towards Z, the end of that one. Dude, Z would have been so pissed if he had lost after all those drops. It would have been just like a year ago, all over again. Not nearly as egregious, but still that yeah. would have been bad. Yeah, the, the Hodoken is a horrible way to drop it. Survival. Well, because he had to crumple. Yeah. All he had to do was just do regular up B, I think, and he would have worked. I don't think he even needed the true DP. It was like, what, like 80? No, he, they, were both, they were both pretty high. Yeah. Already. I mean, he was 80 and... He had like 120 rage, I'm sure. Yeah. So Falcon is pretty heavy. Oh yeah, Z Dog, evening it up. And Dan gonna so essentially running it back to FD, but giving himself walls to uh, wall jump off of this time around. He does like to stage the counter pick, but um, oh, that's an unfortunate. Oh, that's right an unfortunate turn of events. Right into a reset, tying up the percent. Yeah, Z Dog needs to like clean up those approaches. He's approaching very unsafely on the Soft back air into dash attack. Never seen that one before. A lot of really high fares that are getting blocked. Oh, what the? <laughs> Jesus Christ, we did block. Okay, it goes the wrong way, so won't be able to set up into a down air, but. The Sour Spot fair is super good for Ryu against Falcon because it puts him right in front of him. Oh, that's, yeah, that's suck. That's, yeah, that's suck. a good kill. So Z Dog, Z Dog has all but calmed down after being down by quite a bit in yep. uh, game. What was it, game number two? Yeah, yeah. and now Danim is. He now Danem has to play clean. He can't. He can't take too many sweeps. Yeah, and he, he hasn't been playing too clean for this set. So trying yeah, to find it there. It he had a really good focus. start, but like uh, Z Dog really, really calmed down. Yeah. And every hit Falcon takes in this matchup, because Ryu is just so. Ugh. Falcon, Falcon kick, kick working out. Okay. Trying to find the landing focus with the uh, up smash. It is a multi-hit, so not entirely a bad idea. He's at 53%, so he's going to have to take care of the stock soon, and as I say it, so he's safe now. He's safe for like maybe 30, 20, 10%. <laughs> he can take one more hit. Yeah, but that's it. After one more hit, he's in the danger zone. Okay, got some off. Oh, no. Whoa! Oh, not expecting him to go high. Then I'm not ready, but gets him off stage. Yeah, another bad fare by Z Dog. Oh, gets a grab, for... toss him off. Keeps forcing these aerial approaches. I mean, Ryu does kind of is is very committal when he jumps because he doesn't have the acceleration. But that's the thing. Then you got to be careful with how you jump in. Yeah, now Dan Danem knows that Z Dog is kind of going in. Oh! So he can uh, take advantage, yeah. but is it too late? No, he'll need one more. Yeah, that that was very close to the percentage, but not quite it. Again, Falcon's pretty pretty big. Fortunately for Z-Dog, he's not, outside of a really hard punish, he's not quite at death percent, but might be now. The trade. Oh, he was looking for a lot there. Got a nice little grab, though. He was oh. Yeah, he was looking for a focus, I think, right there. Yeah. Yeah, careful. I was going to say, Dan can't be yeah, bunny Dan hopping too liberally there because uh, sure you can get Kananta here. This is down to the last that's, hit, that's, and that'll okay, do it, it, I think. No, he didn't oh, get no, the strong the hit. sweet spot. Oh, no, not quite. Oh, no. He Are was looking for the roll me? again. He was looking for the roll again, but Dan Neutral get up. My goodness. Or got up. It happened again. Wow. 